Hi guys and welcome to the new Creecraft showcase video. Today we have something very interesting to show you. It is our first Death Corpse of Creek project. It is a double tiled display board that represents classic trench warfare. So sit back and enjoy the video. Unlike all previous display boards we've built so far, this one is on two modular 2x2 two two feet tiles. Each tile gradually rises up from the bottom point with craters to a rocky hill with concrete bunkers. Between the bunkers are long trenches reinforced with wooden planks made of bamboo, popsicle sticks and some wooden matches. Trenches and areas around them are a place for infantry, while the high points of the board are a perfect spot for artillery and other vehicles. For the texture on concrete bunkers we used Vallejo's sandy paste. We have achieved realistic scorched earth by applying a dozen of color layers and washes. By using this technique, we can see lots of different shades popping out, making otherwise dull earth into a very dynamic, interesting and realistic war zone ground. The muddy texture is achieved by gently spraying the surface with glossy clear varnish. At first we applied clear resin for this purpose, however resin looked too much artificial, so we decided to recolor the resin parts and go with the glossy spray instead. Since this was our first trench warfare board, we felt a bit challenged in the beginning. Overall, boards like these have tendency to look monochromatic and dull, and we didn't want the end result of our board to be the same. By doing lots of research and applying numerous techniques we've learned so far, we have managed to go one step further. To make the board more interesting, we added small metal barrels, 3D printed by Horizon Creations. In the bunkers, we have added some maps and posters. In addition to all of that, we have also made a small table with battle plans and a couple of maps as well. Sandbags were placed on the higher level of the board to provide protection for the artillery and its personnel. Sandbags were made by using small pieces of cloth which were wrapped around styrofoam bits. We have also made one small radio tower to change the dynamic of the board. On both concrete and trench bunkers the roofs are removable. Okay guys, so I really hope you like the video presentation, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and if you're new here, take a look at our previous videos and we will see each other soon. Bye bye.